conceive, believe, achieve. Shut the f up. Good fights at the weekend. Harrington, I'm going to discuss these fights. Uh, if there's any points you want to say, feel free. But at the weekend, we had Jose Aldo, um, the king of Rio, which I think John Anik actually coined that name for him. He asked him at the fighter meetings last week if if he did, if he minds the nickname the King of Rio. Of course, the answer was no. Who does want to be known as the King of Rio? But um, I mean, come on, come on. What a sensational performance. Josie Aldo, two. And, and as I say, if I'm missing anything, Harrington, feel free to chime in and jump on and all the rest of it. But Josie Aldo, been around a long time, right? And he wants to fight for the bantamweight title. You never know. He might. We might get to see him do that. But going up against Rob Font, when that fight started, I was concerned for Aldo. Of course, you you know, as commentators, we're impartial. May the best man win, you know. But when it's someone like Jose Aldo, you kind of you have you know you revere the body of work that they've done. You respect who they are, and somebody like that, you don't want to see them get knocked out in the first round. Do you know what I mean? You don't want to see it end so quickly for them. But, I mean, listen, fair play. Rob Font could have done that, then fair play. But that's not what happened. But he got off to a really good start. I thought Rob Font looked sensational. He came out the gates really hot, high pace, landing on Jose a lot, doing a fair bit of damage, busting up the face a fair bit. And that's why I say, I thought, holy shit, if this continues like this, then Jose could get finished. And then lo and behold, boom, Right hand from Jose Aldo sits him down. Jose runs across the octagon, gets on top, starts pounding him. He grabs a single leg, but I'm telling you, if there was 20 seconds left, if there was 20 seconds left in that round, we could have seen a first round stoppage for Jose Aldo. Then the rest of the fight continued, went all the way to a decision. Both men showed a lot of heart. Both men were black and blue at the end of that. In fact, both men were disfigured. Jose Aldo, I'm not sure, Harrington, if you know what it was that caused it. I mean, I was there, I was calling the fight, but I still didn't catch what kind of really misfigured his eyes. I was swollen up terribly, looked very strange. I think it was the knee. It was the knee? Which knee? Well, he had him in the clinch and he fucking kneed him in the face. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, could have been, you know, and he's a good a weapon as any. Uh, but yeah, he was disfigured. Then by the end, Rob Font's eye, that had almost closed. So both of them were essentially fighting with one eye. Been there, of course. But a uh, fucking tremendous fight. In the fourth and fifth, there was a bit more groundwork. In the fifth round, Josie had him down. He was controlling him. I got a little bit of shit on Twitter because I was saying that. I wish he'd have gone to town. I wish he'd done more work because he was down. Josie had his arm over him here. They call that turtle position, and his arm was kind of free. And the referee was looking, and he was close to stopping that fight. And if he had just rained down blows like this, he just really went to work, he could have stopped the fight. I wasn't saying he needed to work harder in terms of the fight because it was a sensational fight from absolute start to finish. And both guys, super impressed. I mean, Rob Font, he'll learn from this. He'll come back better and stronger. He's only a year younger than Jose Aldo, but much younger in his career, of course. But uh, Jose, you cannot count this man out, you know. Um, will he be the champion? So I, I, I real quick before we move no, on good. from the fight itself, uh, 149 significant strikes landed by Rob Font. 86 landed by Jose Aldo. Have you ever seen a fight like that where it is very clearly one-sided on the stat sheet, but so, so, so different on the action you saw inside of the cage with Aldo getting those two knockdowns? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I have seen many like that, but I can't think of one right now. But it's a good point you bring up, Harrington, and I think it comes down to the significance of the blows. Of course, what they're talking about there when they strike is significant strikes, you know, but... Who decides how significant they are? And there's there's levels to significance, you know what I mean? So obviously some of Rob Font's strikes were significant, but Aldo's were more significant to her. Do you know what I mean? Because it seemed like every time Aldo connected with something good, he dropped him on a few times, came close to finishing him. So yeah, he didn't land as many shots, but he certainly did a lot of damage. And I think it was definitely Aldo that came close to finishing the fight on several occasions. You know, as I say, both men, great fight, high pace, a lot of action. Uh, Aldo proving, you know, that experience came through for him again. Uh, and then afterwards on the fight, after the fight on the microphone, pardon me, called out none other than TJ Dillashaw. I thought that was a tremendous call out because he's not going to get a fight with Piotr Jan anytime soon. Obviously, that's going to be Aljamain Sterling taking on Piotr Jan, interim versus the undisputed. Should be a great fight. You know, 
as we know, uh, Aljamain Sterling isn't winning any popularity contests lately, bless him, the poor guy. So he's just kind of embraced being a troll and talking shit. Uh, but TJ Dillashaw was supposed to fight, but he got injured. So Corey Sandhagen stepped in against uh, Piotr Jan. So if Dillashaw heals up soon, which by all accounts he will, I think that's a great number one contender matchup. Definitely from TJ, if he beats Jose, he fights the winner of Aljamain and Jan. And same with Aldo. I mean, that'd be great. As we know, Aldo got his ass kicked first time against Jan. But, you know, every fight's different. Look at me and Rockhold. You know, look what happened there. Uh, Harriton, anything to add to the situation before we move on? I was going to ask in... All right, so <clears throat> Aldo called for that fight. He said he wants it to be on the same card as uh, Al Jermaine Sterling versus Piotr Jan when they finally do rematch. Uh, if, if for some reason TJ Dillashaw can't make that card and Al Jermaine Sterling prevails... Does Jose Aldo bump uh, TJ Dillashaw as like the next man up? You know what I mean? Like, was that performance big enough to, to grant him that title shot over over TJ if Aljamain is to get the win? Well, yeah. So you're saying if Aljamain Sterling beats Piorian, stay on the screen a minute because I'll need an answer. You're saying if Aljamain Sterling beats Piorian um, and Aljamain's the champ and Dillashaw gets injured, the, regardless, if they just can't come to a book, yeah. Well, then, yeah, because they need someone to fight, and the next guy would be Aldo. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I don't think I see a world where TJ won't, wouldn't take that fight, and I know he had a partial. Was it a partial? I think it was a partial tear of his MCL, something like that. Um, so he'll be back relatively soon, because we still don't even have a date, do we, for Aljamain Sterling and Piotr Jan? So no, not officially. Yeah, so that could be a couple of months away yet yeah, anyway. And then he's going to need a break, whoever wins that fight. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, I mean, I think uh, Aldo Dillashaw probably will happen very soon. All right, let's hear from one of our sponsors, IP Vanish. We are welcoming them back to today's show. IP Vanish have been a long-time sponsor of ours, so it's great to have them back. So let me tell you about IP Vanish. If you care about the security of your online activity, the easiest way to protect yourself is with IP Vanish VPN, 